Alright, hey everyone. Uh, I've been kind of busy as of late. Haven't had time for much content, really, except for concert videos because I'm going to a lot of those. Last week I went to see uh, Miss May I on the AP tour. Yesterday I went to Divide the Easter Annual Halloween Party, and next week, Friday, I want to see Gideon. Heck yeah. Got a Gideon sticker over here. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to be reviewing the new. EP from the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which I got a free copy because I have tickets to go see them this November, this month. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, but anyways, so, very interesting band there. Um, and one of the biggest things that I noticed is that they're wide appeal to many fan bases, whether it's um, metal lovers like me or people who enjoy Christmas music me, somewhat, um, or Christians, because they have, uh, I mean, Christmas is most rec m most commonly <laughs> recognized as a Christian holiday, so a lot of Christians listen to them, and they do have some Christian lyrical themes on the CP, and, you know, I find it very cool, um, their content, because, uh, it's like, <laughs> keep burping, they make Christmas metal, as you know, they are progressive metal. But they make a very unique Christmas theme with it that I haven't seen many other bands do, and their concerts are fantastic. I've seen five video of them, I have friends who've gone to see them, they... Everything I've heard is that they are a fantastic live band. But, um... But anyways... Uh... So yeah, I think that they, for this small EP, they have a very... You know, there's only five songs. They have, they put a lot of diversity into this. Um, first song, um, I can't even remember the titles right now, but, uh, it starts off, it's like, kind of like this dark, very dark, like, piano tune, and it just kind of gets heavy throughout the song, and they have, it's not too crazy, like, they just have some power chords in there, but it creates a very dark atmosphere. That's Christmas-like, because, you know, usually Christmas is, like, associated with happiness, but they take Christmas atmosphere and they make it dark, which is very cool. Um, second song, uh, which is the title track, um, uh, like, I can't remember the name of the first one. No, it, it was Winter Palace, the first one, but the second one, the title track, Dreams, Fireflies on Christmas Night. Um, of course, they make another, uh, heavy Christmas-sounding song, um, can't say anything too huge like that particular song. It, it's not exactly unique compared to a lot of their material, but it's still objectively a good song. Um, you know, talent in there. It's I can't I can't say it's really the best song, but it's it's a very it's a good song. I'll just put it that way. Uh, third song, I had a memory. Um, this song is a uh, Christian song. Um, it's like about believing in Jesus like a child, which is very interesting, um, like that and. You know, it starts out like, uh, kind of reminds me of, like, very happy-sounding glam metal, to some extent, um, with some of the riffs that they have in there, um, you know, it starts out slow, like, uh, like, in, like, the verse and stuff like that, it's, uh, or in the intro and outro as well, it's got, like, this very soft, but then it just goes heavy all of a sudden, you don't expect it, and the woman's voice, she, um, it sounds like a black woman sing, singing, so... Because it's kind of got like a blues atmosphere, because often when I hear black people singing songs, except for rap, um, I honestly usually associate that with blues, because, you know, blues um, originated a lot from the African American community, and African Americans had a lot to do with that. So that's a very interesting, diverse mix. Um, next song, Someday, I believe that was the name of it. Um, this is a very, very interesting power ballad. It definitely sounds like a metal power ballad, but it's also got a Christmas theme to it, and it has, it seems to have, like, this just crazy, um, just, like, atmospheric feeling of just, like, bliss. It's great. They did very well with that song. And the guy's voice, he sounds like, he's like in his 60s or 50s or something. He sounds kind of old. Um, and that kind of adds to the song that it feels like a guy who's, you know, been through a lot and he's telling a story. It's also got that feel to it. Um, then, last song on the EP, Time You Should Be Sleeping. 
the song is very good outro. It kind of, it's the softest song. It's just like very slow compared to the others. I mean, Someday is a soft song. It's a power bad, but you know, that's still kind of fast. But this one's just like a lot softer and it's a very good outro song. I don't know if the order that they put the songs in is really the best flow for it, but you know, it, it's, it, it still works. It's okay. Um, yeah, next, um, what am I trying to say next? Uh, you know, it's kind of lyrics to that song I thought were very interesting, uh, as well. You know, and they just kind of do, like, this very slow outro that, you know, it feels like it's going to go on forever, like the song, because it's just kind of got that tone to it, and then, you know, it slowly goes to end fades. Very good thing. Um, now, criticisms. Pretty much every album out there um, has its negatives and its positives, except Lil Wayne. The only good album he had was Rebirth and Hot of the Block. <laughs> In all seriousness, um, everything else about him was bad. Bad. But, uh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying. Uh, criticisms. In all honesty, like, from their past material, I cannot say that this is extremely new in their writing style. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic EP. It's probably going on my top ten favorite albums of this year. But it just seemed kind of like, excuse me, um, it just seemed kind of like they could have done better with their writing style. You know, just add a little bit more to it than they did already. Like, it feels like they're holding back a little bit um, with this, and they could have made it a little bit more unique. It feels like they've thrown in a little bit of newness with this, um, but at the same time, it felt like they just kept a little bit of an old element and, and a tiny bit of a mediocre element, um, and you, you kind of get what I'm saying there. Um, yeah, um, oh yeah, you know, um, other than that, I'm going to say that this EP is very good. I also one other thing. I, I wish they would have included a little bit more songs and like a little bit more diversity on the album. Because I feel like there's just like I mean there's diversity, but I feel like there should be a little more on it. Um, so yeah, not too big on the criticisms, but overall fantastic EP. I definitely endorse this album. I recommend you go buy it. Um, and I hope they play the songs from this when I go to see them this month. I will have videos set up. That's going to be awesome, so. I'm just going to keep uh, yawning along here. I don't know, but anyways, keep it metal, everybody.